But you know, a funny thing happens when you take all your money and throw it into your business, you work a little harder. Because you have to. Because your back is up against the wall. You can't think about investing your money or think about starting a business if you have other things to take care of first. Because you have to kind of prioritize. But when it comes to education and you have a career, you can simply go to your boss and say, look, I took on this marketing class, and this is for almost 80% of businesses I want to say can take this on. Look, I took on a marketing class. In this marketing class, I learned X, Y, and Z. I can do X, Y, and Z, give me 30 days of a shot, and if I increase your revenue sales in 30 to 60 to 90 days, I want to raise. And this is how much I want. That's leverage. You're not just asking for more money, you're saying, I did this, I can do this, give me this amount of time to show you this, and let me leverage myself. So the second way to flip your refund is gonna be what? So half of us are business owners and half of us aren't, but let's go down the checklist of how to start a business correctly. Anyone wanna help me out with step one? Research. Step one could be research, okay. Um. Research what your niche is gonna be, right? Create a niche. What is your niche? What's gonna be step two? Plan slash budget, right? A business plan is good. I don't 100% believe in business plans though because sometimes we could have a plan from A to Z, but it might change. The market might change. The competitor's prices might change. The way we have to actually um, incorporate my change in my spot with a partner or not. But what's something that's never going to have to change is our beginning budget. It's probably going to go up, not down. How are we going to turn our passion into profits? What are you good at? Um, dancing. Dancing? How would you turn your passion into a profit? Um, teaching, private lessons. Teaching private lessons. How are people going to know your teacher? Social media. Social media. How? Are you going to put it on social media? <coughs> Advertise yourself? Yeah. How are we going to make how are we gonna make the money though? We can advertise ourselves and make a picture. What if we had a strategic plan though on how to turn our passion into profit? And you go, Uncle Juan, I had this house. I did the comps. Everyone knows what comps is, right? Comps is um, a comparable analysis. So let's say this house is here. You have to compare it to all the same houses, which two floor, you know, two bedroom, two bath. So compare it to the same houses. What they just sold for in the last 30, 60, 90 days, six months, whatever it is, those will give you comps of what that house is trying to do. That's how you guesstimate. So, they take the house, they put it under contract, they go to Juan, who flips real estate, and flips my and flips house, and go, Juan, I have this great deal for this house. He's like, yeah, how much is it? He goes, 125000 Now, what happens with that $25,000? Who do you think that house is going to Who do you think that $25,000 is going to? <laughs> the person that's buying homes and telling you, you can buy homes no cash and no credit. So what's another way we can make money online? E-commerce, drop shipping our products. Drop shipping is just a fancy word for resale. If the guy at the sneaker store in Hempstead wants to sell his sneakers for 150 retail, but I know that they're exclusive and they're 250, yeah. and I get him to agree, which I don't know if he would, but I get him to agree to sell for the 250 as long as I give him an extra $10, 160, whatever that is, he drop shipped my, my product. I just use that example to give you guys an idea of what job shipping means. It's another route you can make money. This is five smart ways, but I've given you guys like that. <laughs> I heard about the event through social media, my good friend Carmen. Um, through social media and through a friend. I came in to do my taxes and Carmen told me about the event. I heard about today's event through Dreams in Motion. I was there in January. Um, shout out to Detonator. Thank you for the plug, bro. That's who plugged me in and that's how I met Carmen.
Tonight was amazing, to be honest. Um, I thought Carmen did an amazing job of just giving information that we don't normally have access to. Um, I learned a lot of things that I know I can take home from here and actually take my tax refund and do something smart with it this year as opposed to just hiding it under the mattress. So I'm excited about that. I think the event was great. Uh, she provided a lot of value and things that I can apply uh, in the future in my business. Man, it was it was inspiring. Um, I learned a lot, honestly. Um, I definitely do want to come back, you know, whenever she does have another, an next event, just like this. Um, it was good, it was very informative. Um, I like the fact that Carmen, she spoke about real estate and also about other things that affect me personally as far as um, student loans and paying back your loans. Uh, fantastic, so much knowledge that I wish I would have learned years ago. I think it was very interesting, learned a lot about personal and business credit funding. I like what she had to say about business credit and leveraging it into other assets and other means of investment. So one thing I'm definitely taking away is building my business credit. So I've always known about personal credit, but Carmen touched on business credit. She touched on, I have a tax ID, I've incorporated. I wasn't aware about the DUNS number. So things like that, I'm gonna start building my business credit so that I have more buying power later. Thank <laughs> you.